Hey, good day everyone. So today I'm going to share with you how I answered uh, the the third exercise, I believe, for, for UI Path Advanced Training Level 3, which is Generate Yearly Report. So this for, for this one, I'm going to share with you how to um, work with the performer. So the, the first one that I created is for Dispatcher. So in this stage, I assume that you have already uh, completed the Dispatcher project and, and it should be working as expected. So what I'm planning to do in this video is to have a dedicated video per, per sequence as much as possible. So you can easily navigate to each video and um, you, you can easily find some some of your uh, inquiry or question maybe if you encounter any issue so and while i'm not talking let's get started so make all right so let's name this uh project generate yearly report performer and let's put some description in here well it depends if you want to do it as well now let's hit the create button so I, one of my expectations as well is that you have your orchestrator connected with your UI robot and you have run your uh, dispatcher project and it already and it already uh, add items on our orchestrator queue so before we get into this project uh, let me just show you my orchestrator so if if you were not in aware yet so once you navigate to the platform that uipath.com link you will be directed to this uh, page well at first you will need to watch a video it's better to watch that so to, to, to direct your orchestrator you need to go to services and then you need to click your orchestrator name so once you click that you will be redirected to your orchestrator uh on the monitoring page so here my assumption is that you have this queue in here the name is in-house process for and there should be remaining items in here because this this is the output of our uh dispatcher project and this will be our uh this will be the items that we will process using uh, our performer process which we are going to create today so to get started i have opened the pdf pdf guideline file on on another desktop so you should have that open as well on your pc so in this uh, in this project the transaction item will be q item so Let's just check that by default it's a queue item so there's no need to change that and and do some some validation from other workflow so the next thing to do is go to the config file so you need to click this file explorer icon and once you're here go to data and open this config excel file Is it already open? All right. So first thing to do in this file is let me just get rid of this extra row in here. I, I don't really know what's the purpose of that. So first thing is we need to change this um, orchestrator to name value to to our queue name which should be in-house underscore process four so paste it oops 
and then we need to add two two more values in here so the first one is the system one url and the other one is the system one credential i hope that you can hear the the bark of my of, of our neighbor's dog in the background so by the way let's put value in here um i forgot the the site should be So let's put that in here and then for the credential go to your asset and copy the asset you have created don't copy mine maybe that's not the same with yours so let's just paste it and here we go let me just check what else do we need to add in here so so there's another item that we will be we will be needing to add on a later part but on a later part but let me just add it right now so it's a reports download path later you will see the purpose of that item and then the value should be this we need to create another folder later inside the data folder and we need to name that temp right so what do we have in here in the instruction and then we need to go to the constant page and make sure that this um, max retry number value is set to zero and after that you should be good make sure to save that and let's close that file okay so once you're good with that the next step to do is to copy some of the sequence or workflow from the previously created uh, project so at this stage I, I expect that you have already completed the calculate client security hash exercise because we will be needing workflow from that project so so first we need to create a folder and name it system1 right open that folder and now look for your now you need to look for your previous project calculate client security hash go to that folder if you haven't completed it yet i have i have a video uploaded for this uh, exercise you can watch that so you will be able to have these sequences or workflows so the items that we need to copy from these projects are first one is the system one login and system one that close i name it system one logout next one is system one navigate to work items and system one work navigate to work item details and update work item where's the, there we go so you need to copy this five um, sequence so copy that and then now we'll need to paste it on my system one folder under my performer project right so let's close this folder and once you refresh this you should see the system one folder in here so these are the sequences that we copied so let me just check the next instruction okay so i think that's all for for this first video on the next video we're going to configure these uh sequences that we just copied from uh from the calculate client project uh folder so see you on the next video